Welcome to the JDM Trivia number 9. Today's trivia will be all about the Tom's Angel T01. Red CZ guessed the teaser entirely correct. The car in the teaser clip is indeed the Tom's Angel T01, and the taillights are indeed borrowed from the E90 generation Corolla FX. I recognized the car in a video from my Gran Turismo 2 days, when this car was actually one of the prize cars you could obtain if you won the Pure Sports Car Cup located on Laguna Seca Raceway. Tom's always has been a tuning garage, where they take an existing car, only Toyota in their case, Strip it, modify it into a high performance race car, or a detuned street version of this. You could argue that Tom's counterpart for Nissan would be Tommy Kyra. They also take mostly Nissan cars and modify them into high performance race cars. The analogy even goes further both have made an attempt to create their own lightweight mid engine sports car from the ground up. Both of them had their mid engine sports cars manufactured in Great Britain. Now for Tommy Kyra, the car was named the ZZ while Tom's attempt was called the Angel. Tom's wanted to celebrate their 20th anniversary in 1994 by launching their own mid-engine sports car roughly the size of a key car. In 1991 they gave their orders to the British subdivision to start building such a car under supervision of Martin Ogvi. It took roughly three years to develop the Angel, sourcing parts from the Toyota bin, hence the E90 Corolla FX taillights. And you would expect Tom's to also use the AW11 MR2 suspension parts, as the Angel is also a mid-engine car. Instead, their British subdivision, who also manufactured Formula 3 chassis, created a full carbon fiber and FRP monocoque on a steel subframe with a fully independent wishbone suspension on all four corners. One of the parts they did take from Toyota was the 5 fall 4 AGE Silvertop and its gearbox from the AE101 Corolla 11 and Sprinter Torino. The Silvertop was capable of delivering an output of 158 PS, which is 4 PS higher than Toyota rated it. The instrumentation existed of a large tachometer and an LCD panel that showed the most important other things like speed, water temperature, oil temperature and pressure. There's no power steering, but you probably won't miss that in a sub 700 kg car and 195.50 tires up front. Tom's expected to sell a few hundred of these cars for roughly $42,000 each and presented the prototype to the public on the 1994 Tokyo Motor Salon. However, in 1992 the Japanese bubble economy collapsed and by 1994 the recession was at its peak. There was simply no demand for an exotic like the Angel. And Tom's can't the project, and the prototype is the only Tom's Angel ever built. And the Angel became a unicorn. Some lucky guy was able to buy it from Yahoo Auctions for an unknown sum of money. But probably it was all worth it. For what I have found is that the car has been restored to its original state, and there has been only one change applied to this car. The silver top has been swapped for a black top. Teaser for the next time. What do all these photos have in common? Regular visitors may actually know. See you next time then!